Hello, hi. Malcolm. Hi, David. Are you there? I'm, I'm yeah, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, good. Hello, everyone. Well, it's uh, been a couple of weeks since uh, David and I have done a hangout. Lots of reasons. I've become a grandfather again, uh, and that knocked me out for a week. So <laughs> it's been one of those weeks. But uh, we're really glad to be here. And what we're going to do today is we're going to have a chat about four steps that everyone has to go through uh, before they become successful and content and, and happy with what they're doing. So what I'll do first of all, I'll just ask David to say a few words about himself and then we'll get straight into it. So over to you, David. Yes, uh, thanks, Malcolm. Uh, we're having a, a lot of fun doing these Hangouts. You know, what we do is we just um, uh, pick a topic and um, have some fun, you know. So these um, Hangouts are very relaxed. Um, in, enjoy them and please leave some comments you know b below the the video and uh, myself and Malcolm would be very happy to to answer them myself um, I've been in project management for uh, 10 years here in London I'm originally from Cape Town South Africa and been in the UK now for 15 years and um, I I've always been a, been a dreamer I've always wanted to do something more I've always wanted to create a, a residual income from online and from the internet and um, I've had my struggles I've been running around in circles for many years but recently I've hooked up with two mentors of mine one is in um, South Africa and another one is in in Australia and I'm in the UK so guys this just shows you the power and the leverage of the internet and, um, and now I'm creating success and I've got my business partner Malcolm and all we want to do is we want to share some principles of success and, um, and, and help you guys. Okay, that's great. Um, I, I, think, I think it's quite good if, if I start this and I'll tell you why uh, as I go through. The, the first step we're going to talk about today is desperation. Now. In my life, I've been desperate so many times. Uh, I tell you a little story. Um, when I when I was first uh, teaching, I didn't have enough money for the mortgage, and I went into uh, a second job, which was actually collecting pools. Uh, and I had some collectors in Liverpool coming to me and giving me all their pool money, and I had to go and take it uh, and put it uh, in a safe, and then go and see the boss. But when I went for my interview, the guy said, why do you want this job? And I said, I need the money. He said, fine, you've got it. And I said, don't you want it anymore? He said, no, if you need money, you will do the job. And that's all I need to know. So desperation is, is very important. You need to have a need. You need to really want to do it to, be, uh, to start on this journey. Um, it's sort of a helpless feeling when, you, when you've got uh, nothing. And sometimes you run around like a headless chicken thinking, what can I do? Who can I speak to? Who do I know? David and I have had many conversations about uh, things like this over the time when we've needed to help each other. But one of the great things that Lawrence says is don't have a plan B. In other words, just go for it. If you've got a plan B, you can always think, oh, well, I'll, I'll go, I'll try this. But if you have no plan B and just go for it, that's what, that's what desperate's about, having a burning desire, wanting to do things, having the drive to make sure you can do it. Um, and it's so, so vital. Lots of us get to the point of desperation and never get any further. And it's the risk takers who actually do something about it. And we found that the people who are successful in any business are risk takers because any form of action is risky. It's so easy to have the status quo, to stay where you are, not to worry. But desperation can drive you to something. And if you get comfortable, it's, it's easy just to think, oh, I'm okay, I'll get by. But when you actually have a desire, a need, a desperation that you have to succeed no matter what, you will get there. Danny Johnson, one of our ultimate mentors, tells a story about her husband who wasn't a natural salesman. 
and he had a suitcase of product and he said I'm going to sell this in 24 hours and he came back and he still had I think about six bottles to sell and Danny said well, you've done well don't worry he said no I'm going to sell it and he went out at something like nine o'clock at night and went round and he sold the rest and that's what desperation is just going for it and making sure you know. so, okay David do you want to go yeah to I mean oh I, I mean you know all I wanted to say as well um, to our audience is it's okay to feel desperate yeah sure there, there is there's nothing wrong with it you know we have emotions and and emotions are there to instruct us you know they're there to, to say okay you're desperate and um, and that that is it's good to recognize that that you're desperate because then that will either it will drive you you know it will it will drive you to do more it will it will drive you and especially what Malcolm said is if, if you don't have a plan B then it's like um, Cortez the the, the fa famous um, a sailor who, who actually went to war and he burnt his boats and he said to his army he said guys there the boats are burning now we have to win this battle and then we're going to sail back in, in the enemy's boats so when you have that state of mind you, you, you've got no choice but, but to succeed so, so just remember guys it's okay to feel desperate yeah. but the important thing about that is as well is when you are desperate just be, just be um, aware of that because when you're actually doing your videos or you're writing your blog, just just be aware that you, you don't want to come across to your audience as desperate because that sometimes can, can not be a good thing. But if you're aware of it, just do your best to push through it, even though you, you are like emotionally desperate about something. Push through it. And, and like Einstein says, is when you're in trouble, don't stop. <laughs> or to just keep moving because when you keep moving it will pass so that's my touch on, on desperation Malcolm yeah you're absolutely right Dave I, I think it's a really important point you made about the keeping going and that people can see if you're desperate um, I, I interview a lot of people and uh, during those interviews you can tell the ones who are desperate they're almost pleading for the job yeah. And they don't come over as natural people. They come over as desperate people. So the first thing you have to do is just relax, accept the fact you're desperate, and say, I'm going to do something about it. Okay, David, do you want to talk about comfort and moving on to the comfort zone? Yeah, yes. Okay, now, now after you, you, you've started, um, say, for instance, your business, you, 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 you're coming, you're starting to get some sales, you, you're starting to... And see some some success, and like a normal human being, is um, when when you start seeing a bit of success, you get a bit complacent, and um, and then you start to to get into a comfort zone. What do you stop doing? You might stop meeting up with your business partners. You might stop reading your positive material. You might stop hanging around with the positive people who empower you and lift you, and you might st all start shifting to the negative people. So what you got to do? is when you get into the comfort zone, you've got to realize, okay, I'm in the comfort zone now, I need to step up my game, I need to go back to my mentor and ask him, listen here, I'm, I'm, um, I'm back in, I seem to not be getting more sales anymore. Ask for help, you know, there is nothing wrong with asking for help. And I've realized that I ask for help all the time. And, and it's a good thing and it's a humbling experience to, to ask for help. And, um, and, you know, all, all it means is, is when you're in a comfort area, when you start going back to your training that you originally had, if you, when you go back to start listening to your original training, when you go back and start speaking to your mentors on a weekly basis, when you go back and start reading the material you were reading when you were getting success, that's when success will come back to you. So you've just got to get back into the habit of, of doing those, it's like a daily routine you've got to be doing, yeah. and um, and there is discipline involved there. Um, discipline is 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 a key part of any business success, and um, get back into your daily um, operations of um, reading positive material, being around positive people, and um, 
going back through your training and asking help from your mentor. Yeah, that, that's very good, David. Very powerful. Um, I, I, I also like the, the trick that um, has been said about fool yourself. When you get into a comfort zone, actually fool yourself and say, I'm not in a comfort zone. I actually need to get out of this area. I need to do something. And it, it's just getting your mindset, as David said, into wanting to do something and making sure you do it. It's absolutely true. Uh, the, the, we've seen so many people, David and I, and, and I'm sure that you have as well, guys, so many people who get some success and think that's it. They don't have to do any more. But as David said, that's the very time you have to keep going. And it leads on to the next bit that I, I was going to talk about, which is inspiration, inspiring. Um, wh when you've got results, you've got a team, you've got leads and so on, you need to get um, another goal. You need to go for it. I, I often talk about, uh, th there are smart goals, which everyone's heard about, but I talk about dim goals. And these are demanding innovative and um, um, movable so uh, you, you've got a goal that really stretches you so set yourself a goal that you can really go for and and perhaps the most inspiring thing is to find out what your why is why are you really doing it what do you want to do it for you ask most people they'll say I want financial uh, security I want money I want to look after my family but but the really great why is when you say, I want to make other people successful. Because by making other people successful, you are indeed making yourself successful. And that's such a really important thing to do. And other people will inspire you. What we have found many times that uh, you can't tell if someone's going to be successful or not. The person you look at and think that person's going to be fantastic just withers away. And sometimes the, the slow starter becomes a real burner and is the person who pushes you and, and makes you do more. And, and that, that's why it's so great when I work with David because David never relaxes on this. He's always saying to me, look at this, do this, make sure you've done that. And, and we keep each other going in this way. He pushes me, I push myself, and hopefully I push him in some ways as well, just to keep on going, because you need to be inspired. And other people are one of the greatest inspirations you can have. It just makes you want to do better all the time. And that's what keeps me going, keeps David going, keeps our teams going. And we're talking of in Carrot Bars, in our Protection Through Goal team, of over 20,000 people now. So, we're, you know, these are big numbers, and they can't all be wrong. <laughs> there must be something right here. And the thing is, we are a team, and we inspire each other. We, we send each other messages, we talk to each other, we inspire each other. So really go for it, and make sure that uh, your inspiration is other people. Because my inspiration is David, and he, he, I aspire to be like his success. Yeah, Dave. Oh, well, thank you, Malcolm, and thank you so much. You, you're too kind. Now, now th this is this is a uh, the three ones that we've gone through. So we've we've gone through uh, desperation, comfort, and inspiration. Now, what happens is you'll actually toggle between these three. You'll you'll get you'll get um, desperate, then you'll get comfortable, and then you'll be inspired, and then all of a sudden you'll get desperate again, and, you, and you'll get comfortable again, and you'll get inspired, and it can be quite a, an emotional roller coaster. And, um, and what you need to do is you just need to keep going, keep going. And, and the way you can get to the fourth step, and that is by doing exactly what Malcolm said, is find your deeper meaning, not just your surf surface meaning, your deeper why. But guys, you've got to dig deep. You know, I mean, I know it sounds, you know, some people, you know, they, they don't want to hear it. You know, when I speak to certain people, I say, what is your why? Why do you want to do a business? Why do you want to do an online business? I want you to, I don't, it's not just good enough saying I want to make the money. I'll give you an example. I'll tell you what my why is. I'm 
passionate about helping people. That's what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about taking somebody who doesn't believe in themselves to believing in themselves. I, I enjoy somebody who, who, who starts off doing something and has very little skills and is learning loads of skills and then even becomes better than me. You know, I love that. I love empowering people. So, you know, they say if your why doesn't make you cry, it's not big enough. <laughs> like that. So, so, guys, that's how you get from the roller coaster ride of going through desperation to comfort to inspiration to success or momentum. Success can mean many, many things to many people. You know, define your own, your own definition of success. But when you get your deep meaning and your deep why, that will make you get up earlier in the morning, that will make you stay up late at night, and that will make you do your blog posts, that will make you do your videos, and that will make you keep on going until you, until you get to that momentum period. You know, they, as they say, failure or success is one step past failure. Just remember that. Success yeah. is one step past so when you actually want to quit, don't quit. Keep going. Right. And that's when you'll find the success. Yeah. That's that's so true, David. And and you and I have been through that roller coaster ride and uh, you know, we're here now and you just gotta look at us. We've got smiley faces, we're happy people. And everyone on our team are happy people. And it's just because it's it's just keep it on, keeping on. Yep. And I, I was listening before to, there's an advert on the radio at the moment about a young girl who's in the Commonwealth Games and she says, I don't go out at night with my friends, uh, I can't go to places at the weekend, I don't eat chocolate and cake, but I represent my country. And you I said, think she got a gold medal, didn't she? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's fantastic. And that's a sacrifice, you know, that you have to take. I mean, it was, it was also the one guy, I think it was the 200 meter butterfly, yeah. who, who won. I don't know if you saw that one. And he, and he was sort of blown away because he wasn't the favorite. Yeah, that's right. The favorite was second. Yeah. <laughs> Just shows but, you. I, I, and, and finally, on the success thing, you speak to a lot of people. They, they know what they've got to do. They know how to do it but they don't know why they're doing it. And again, that just shows, like we said before, if you haven't got that deep inner why, why you're doing something, it shows, you become transparent. It's like the door-to-door -door salesman, you know, knocks on the door and says, hi, you're having a good day, and it's just a patter. He's not caring if you're having a good day, he just wants to make a sale. But we here are genuine people. We want to help you. We want to help all you guys to be successful and happy and live a great life. So that's why we do these hangouts. That's why we talk to you. That's why we're here to help. I'm going to hang back to Dave in a moment. Just want to say, like he said, there's a link at the bottom. Leave a comment. Just get in touch with us. We will talk to you. We'll help you. And we want to see your success. David, I'll hand back to you to wrap up and then we'll finish. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a few things I want to, I want to say, is when you actually move to the success point, like my mentors, is it's quite amazing what actually, actually happens. It's quite a big shift because when you actually get that level, people come to you, people start coming to you. You don't, you become attractive person, and things become much easier. Your, your business becomes easier because the phone is ringing. People are phoning you because they want to be in connection with you because they see you as an attractive person. And, um, and also, money starts to flow to you easily. So, so, you know, that's the fourth step, and we all can get there. I just want to read something which I got from Ray Higdon. You guys can Google him. And, um, and it was a very, very, very good, powerful post that he put on Facebook. It's about numbers and sales, but it's got a very powerful message. Let me just read it off here. Numbers cure all. I've seen people absent almost of all talent, except the fact that they are consistent, out-recruit those who were infinitely more talented. Closing rate 
suck. Show more people. Okay, show more people. Your bills are piling up. Show more people. Friends are hating you. Show more people. Spouses unsupported. Show more people. Doubting yourself. Show more people. If you just replace the time you spend singing the blues and are merged in self-doubt with um, prospecting, your results will eventually surpass all other senses. Numbers cure all. Welcome. I've lost you. Hi guys, sorry the internet connection dropped and um, I lost I lost Malcolm. So um, I just want to do, um, end it nicely. Guys, please leave your comments below about um, the four principles on how to get started and the phases you go through on an online business. Leave your comments. It will be great to hear from you. And uh, we'll be doing an, another Google Hangout shortly. So from me and Malcolm, we'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.